Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to again discuss about the uh, computable future APIs itself. In previous video tutorial, we had exp uh, started exploring API uh, which are available in computable future class. So in uh, past video tutorial, uh, I have coded this code and let me explain you this code again so basically what i have done uh, i have created a class with main method and here just i have created a uh, empty uh, I just uh, i'm calling this method is called calculate or sync and here i have created an empty object of computable uh, completable future object and just i have created a list with some string and uh, i have created a thread pool using executor framework and here I have written uh, uh, this submit method basically is to accepts runnable object so I have written a lambda expression because runnable is a functional interface and here I am doing some processing in real scenario you may have a uh, some time consuming uh, data processing logic but uh, for simplicity to make this demo shorter just what I have taken I have taken a list with some string and this list just I am passing to the join method of string and uh, just delimiter I have passed as comma passed as a comma so this all string will be concatenating and every string will be separated with a comma and that we are getting as a uh, one string and this string I just I am passing to the complete method of the computable future and this computable future is finally going to return by this API and, uh, right and uh, this uh, operation uh, gets executed successfully then uh, return will be stored in the uh, computable future uh, else null will be returned to the caller and here caller basically uh, just caller we are getting the uh, object of uh, completable future and we are just calling get method on it and we are just printing the uh, result and just we are uh, trying to print the name of the thread in the uh, caller method as well as uh, called method so you can see um, uh, called i mean caller method is basically executed in the main thread and but if you try to uh, uh, print the name of the thread uh, in the called method then uh, of course you'll get the name of the thread something else because this thread is created using cached pool so that's why thread name is something else so basically here basically this uh, code is a spin basically this code uh, basically spin of computation in the separate thread right and that's why this is this uh, code is executed in the totally different thread right and caller is executed in the different thread that's the but uh, let's uh, move one step ahead if uh, you already know the result of computation uh, you can use the static uh, completed future method with an argument that represents the uh, result of this computation then the and uh, then the get method of the future get method of the future uh, get method of future uh, uh, will not be blocked and immediately re returning this result so basically let's create another project and uh, basically now we don't uh, require this kind of nested code right so let's create another project and I would say paste in the same work space I'd give name as uh, completable future demo 2 and here let's close this previous project and here is the code and here basically in this demo I just I'm trying to show you how to make use of another API that is called uh, so this API is not needed at all so basically here I'm going to sh show you how to make use of the another API is called uh, completed future so let's create an empty object of com completable future Sorry. new completable future uh, let's create an empty object of it and here 
so completable feature is uh, I think a static method right so let's see completable feature is static method so you don't need to create even object of it right so directly you can call by this class name and uh, uh, when we use this method when you know the result already as a string then directly you can pass to the so this is generic type so, so let's suppose that just we are passing the hello world it's a our comp in real scenario you can have a I mean uh, some complex logic uh, right and you execute and you get the final result and you can pass to the uh, computable future object so I'd say here just I'm hard coding a string to make this demo shorter and this will give you the object of completable future and just we are calling get method on it and right so get method basically throwing two types of exception interrupted exception as well as execution exception so either you will have to handle it or declare in the throws clause so just have declared and this guy is going to return us the result so say r e s e l t result I just print this result so here this uh, basically this task as well as get method executed in the same thread right and both is executed in the main thread itself right and and we get the result as a final result a hello world right so so if you don't want to write a complex logic then of course you don't require a nested code which we had written in the earlier uh, video now as an as an alternative scenario if you may want to cancel the execution of the future then let's say create another project to make that demo so i'm going to create a, another class in the same package i have to give a name to right so this is a computable future class 2 and here what i'll do uh, I'm going to copy source code which I had written in the previous video itself so let's copy from here and here what I'll do let's copy uh, or let's copy this code from here and paste it in demo 2 okay now let's close previous project and come to here and here if you want to uh, cancel this task right so we can call a uh, cancel method in it and cancel method you can see cancel method uh, sorry cancel it's like ca and cancel right so if you look at the cancel cancel method takes a boolean value may interrupt if running right and here you can pass the value as true or false so you can see there is there will not be any impact of this flag setting this flag and if you run this program then you get the result successfully right so you get the result successfully right so there is no impact of uh, setting this flag right so suppose uh, and why we should uh, call cancel method on uh, completable future because suppose uh, we did not manage to find the result and decided to cancel an asynchronous execution together altogether this can be done with the future cancel method so this method is basically have been declared in the of uh, this cancel method is have been declared in the uh, uh, declared in the uh, future interface but uh, 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 completable class completable future class implements this interface so this implementation is available in the completable uh, future itself right and you can see the description over here saying that if not already completed uh, completes this uh, completable future with uh, ca cancellation uh, can uh, cancellation exception uh, dependent uh, dependent completion completable futures exceptionally with a complete completion exception caused by the this uh, cancellation exception right so 
so you are you are getting the result right so because this uh, action this uh, future uh, completable future is completed successfully that's why we are getting the result but if you uh, this guy is going to return instead of uh, uh, this guy is not returning any value in that case if i run the same program then we get the some exception look at the exception right so saying that java dot util dot concurrent dot cancellation exception right but uh, if uh, this uh, completable future is completed successfully then we get the response properly right so in that case setting this flag is uh, ignored by computable future right so that's the thing i wanted to uh, convey in this video tutorial so here in this video tutorial we basically we have discussed about the this meter completed future as well as how we can set how how we can uh, cancel the asynchronous request so basically when you have you have a asynchronous computation then basically asynchronous cannot you can you cannot cancel it but uh, if uh, this asynchronous uh, suppose uh, if you call a com uh, uh, complete method on it and this complete method is uh, executed successfully then immediately the result will be returned to the, uh, the caller and this uh, flag will be ignored if there is nothing there is no task to complete right and if you try to execute this code and by setting the cancel as a true then uh, this call will be uh, turned with an exception is called uh, cancellation exception that's the key points which is i wanted to convey you so thanks for watching this video and this code i am basically i'm going to upload on github and github location i'm going to specify in the video description itself so thanks for watching and see you in the next video tutorial